Hi, this is Forbidden Soul, creator of the Portal Stones plugin. The Portal Stones plugin is really easy to use, but it has some pretty complex possibilities. In this video, we'll show you what the default options for the plugin are, how to use them, and then cover additional features. Let's get started! First, we're going to need a Portal Stone. By default, Portal Stone will occasionally drop from Redstone Ore, so let's go and find some. Here we go. Each of these chunks contains 16 Redstone Ore, and the default drop chance is 6.25%, or one in every 16. That means we should end up with about three portal stones. You may turn this option on or off in the plugins config.yml and set the drop chance to whatever you like. There's one, two, ah, oh, perfect, three portal stones. All right, another option is to enable or disable portal stone is craftable in the plugins config.yml. This option is turned off by default and the crafting recipe is permanently set. The recipe of one redstone will craft a portal stone. The third and final option is to throw redstone into another portal and have the portal stone created from the redstone that you threw in. The item stack will maintain its amount and this option may be set on or off in the plugins config.yml. It's turned off by default. So here's one. And here's an entire stack. You'll notice that this will increase. There we go. All portal stones now. Alright, so now that we have a portal stone, let's check it out. This portal stone, an unbound portal stone. Throw this into another portal to bind that portal to the portal stone. The portal stone can then be used to create portal pathways between the portals. Seems simple enough. Let's run up to one of these portals and press Q to throw it. Ah, cool, it bounced back. Check it out again. Okay, now it says a bound portal stone. Bound portals. Throw this into an unbound portal to continue binding portals to this portal stone. Throwing this to any previously bound portal will fuse the portals together in a portal pathway. Any entity may traverse the portal pathway. The portal way, sorry. Alright. Throw it into another one. Awesome. Bound portals too. Cool. So, seeing as how this portal has been previously bound, we can throw it back into this portal to complete the portal pathway, or go back around and use this one. But we'll just use this one in this video. Cool. Let's try it out. Alright, so we're going into orange. Orange comes out of white, we're going into white, and white comes out of orange. There are some rules to using portal stones, however, and the first rule is that each portal pathway must contain at least two portals. In other words, no linking a portal to itself. If we try to do this, the portal stone will bounce back without binding a new portal. So we just relit those, we bound to this one, throw it back in, it bounces. No other item or entity can traverse into a bound portal. So we'll just link these two together. There we go. And also, if we were to break one of these portals, the portal pathway size would be reduced to one, so both of the portals shatter and the portal way is removed. There we go. This also includes multi-portal pathways. Let's give you an example of one. So we're just going to relight these two. Combine them together, just like we did earlier. So this is portal pathway number one. And then we're going to bind purple to red. And then we're going to create a multi-portal pathway by binding red into another pathway that we used to have. The white. So because they require at least one, we can safely shatter or delete the red portal. And then the purple portal, instead of going to red, will now take us to white. Cool. If we delete the orange one, white and purple are still linked, so there's still two in that portal way. Well, I'll show you this first of all. Orange takes you to white, and white takes you to orange. But if we now delete the orange portal, white will now take us back to purple. Purple to white. But if we delete one of these two, purple or the white one, it will shatter them both. And the most complex example of this that I could think of would be to do a simple two-portal 
pathway, like red and white together. And then we'll link orange and red, or orange and white rather. Purple and white. Over here, green and white. And teal and white, whatever color that is. Cool, but now white will take us to red. Red will take us to white, and any of these other ones will also take us to white. If we delete the red one, White no longer takes us to red, it will take us to orange, I believe. Yeah, orange instead. But if we delete the white one, all of those previous portals will be reduced to one. And they all shatter. Cool. That's just about it for using portal pathways, guys, or portal stones, rather. Hope you enjoyed the plugin. If you have any questions, feel free to ask on either the Bucket plugin release or Spigot plugin release forums, or you can comment in the description below. Thanks, have fun, and good luck. Urban and Soul.